you more problems this morning for the TSA. A new report shows more than 70 airport workers' names appeared on a government terrorism watch list. Our Sam Sweeney is live at Reagan National Airport with more on what the Senate Committee on Homeland Security is doing today to address the issue. Sam, good morning. Larry, good morning. Another embarrassment for the TSA. This time they allowed 73 people with probable terror links to obtain security access badges. The TSA is responsible for clearing those who work for airlines and government contractors in our nation's airports. Now those badges allowed workers unrestricted, unsupervised access to aircraft, the tarmac, and secure luggage areas. TSA blames this failure on its inability to have full access to terror watch list databases. This this morning, one senator says the publicly available facts are disturbing, but the classified details are even worse. He goes on to say, in part, if moms knew what members of Congress have learned behind closed doors, they would march on Washington demanding urgent top to bottom reevaluation of airport security. This morning, top TSA officials will address members of Congress about what is being done to help this plagued agency. Now, despite this failure, the TSA says that they're background security check is generally effective. Reporting live at Reagan National Airport, I'm Sam Sweeney, News Channel 8.